All right, guys. So we're gonna do a uh, tutorial video on how to build these mining rigs. Uh, these are CPU mining rigs that we put together with parts we bought on Amazon. We bought it uh, mid October. Uh, the parts came about a week later. We put it together. It's been running for almost a week now. It runs very smoothly. Uh, the each one of these builds, I believe, when we bought them, they were on average after tax about seven hundred thirty dollars. Sorry, before tax, seven hundred thirty dollars each. They're mining Raptorium right now, and we are making about two dollars fifty cents on each of them, uh, which means in a week uh, that's seventy-five dollars, right? So, uh, sorry, in a month it's seventy-five dollars. Thirty days in a month, uh, it would take roughly ten months to break even on them. And if Raptorium keeps going up, uh, it will go up more. But we're going to show you the build, how we're building these. Uh, over here, I'm going to show you guys the parts. Now all of these, the links will be down below. And before we start, so uh, to Evil One, we I heard you. I did order. Um, we ordered the the mic. Uh, it's just it's not coming in until two more days. So just bear with me when it comes. We'll test it. Hopefully it works. But I will get a wireless Bluetooth mic so you guys can uh, hear me better. All right. So for this build, right, we want an acrylic base. We bought these for thirty nine ninety nine. I don't know if you can like make your own with wood and just drill it in. We just bought these for thirty nine ninety nine. Make sure the motherboard when it sits, it doesn't make contact with metal. Uh, doesn't, you don't fry anything on it, and it's elevated. And this provides all of it, right? They got these pin where it elevates it, so there's airflow going through. It's also the reason why it's expensive. It's it's acrylic. It goes up to one hundred sixty degrees Celsius. How much is that in Fahrenheit? Two forty. Like three, three something. Three something? That seems a bit high. Oh no, that's right. So 300 uh, something degrees Fahrenheit. The reason why you want that is so the uh, CPU doesn't melt the material underneath, right? So maybe don't do wood. That's, that thing would burn. So just get this, $40. We got the motherboards. It's an uh, Oris motherboard. It's A520M. Uh, so when you buy the motherboard, if you get this build, just look at the uh, link down below. But if, when you buy the, when you buy motherboards, make sure you get the ones that's compatible with your CPU. So this is the generation three and it's specific for Ryzen, for AMD Ryzen. So this one will work with uh, our CPU. So go into this, this was $90, I believe, for Vortex 95. Going to the CPU, this is the Ryzen 3 3900X. Uh, this one was $430 on Amazon, I think people are ordering this. They're starting CPU mining because when we, after we bought it, it was backlogged for four weeks. Uh, I don't know, I, I didn't check today whether or not they restocked it, but backlogging for four weeks on Amazon, a uh, shortage. So you want the CPU, make sure CPU is compatible. When you buy, uh, look on Amazon, expand the description for the motherboard. It will say what generation uh, cards are compatible with the motherboard. So these two, you want it to be, you want it to be compatible. Uh, next, uh, this motherboard doesn't have um, built-in Wi-Fi, so we have bought a little uh, USB plug-in Wi-Fi. It works fine. All three of them runs on it. I think this one was like $14 only. Plug it in. Uh, and then next, we got, oh, over here. In the link, we also have it, but for this, we use it in there already for this specific build. Uh, I'm just using some of my used one, but you're going to want a stick of RAM. Uh, at least 3200 megahertz uh, because CPU requires, CPU mining requires faster rate. Uh, so at least 3200, this is an 8 gig, you can get it for $20, $30 each. Uh, and then an SD card, you can get SD cards for pretty cheap too. Uh, this one specifically is 512, uh, 256 works fine. I don't know if you can go under. Uh, this is where you put in your uh, boot, your drive, right? So you can start it up. And then finally, this is the next combination. You want a power unit. Now, CPU mining uh, uses less electricity than GPU mining. Uh, GPU mining, so 400 watts will do. However, if you do want a CPU mine with the same unit, right, then you gotta up your up your uh, power supply. Depending on what, what card you get, you may need to uh, go up to 750, 800, just to be safe. Uh, this CPU, once it runs and stabilizes, we've been measuring the uh, wattage. It's about 250 uh, wattage uh, during the high spike. So, you know, if you want to mine with like a 3090 card, then you probably want something that 
since it's already using the newer 300, you want something at least 700 or higher, right? Uh, but since we only need a, we got a GeForce uh, 210 right here. This is one of the cheapest ones. We got it for forty-seven dollars on Amazon, brand new, uh, just to run the computer. It doesn't consume any energy, much energy. So because of that, we just got the cheapest one, four hundred. This is uh, is this Eva? Eva? EVGA. I keep getting them mixed. Uh, this is EVGA. We got it for twenty-nine ninety-nine. It's four hundred, lowest one, but good reputable brand. So this whole bill, uh, like I said, seven hundred thirty dollars right now, mid. October. Uh, now my cousin's gonna build it uh, for us. He didn't want to say anything, so I did all the talking. I'm gonna go watch football, and he's gonna build it. And I bring the camera in, just let it run. If you, he's not gonna talk during the build, so if you guys have any questions, drop down below, and he'll respond to you guys. Okay? But he'll build it. He'll build it. We'll plug it in. Oh, and finally, uh, at the end, uh, he'll uh, when he, he'll jump start it because it does, this one doesn't come with um, with a start button. So on the motherboard, if you open up the manual, uh, it'll tell you like what, it'll tell you uh, which two buttons to jump. So at the end, you're gonna see them with the screwdriver and it'll tap it and the light will come on. Uh, will come on. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions. Um, All right guys, so my cousin's putting it together. Uh, by the end of it, it looks like it took him about 17 minutes total. Uh, to assemble. He did assemble the last three. So he came over uh, yesterday on Friday uh, to assemble three of them with me, the three that you saw earlier in the video. So he knows what he's doing. So I'm just going to leave him to it um, while I'm watching football today. And then I'll, um, or just today's Sunday. So he came two days ago. But uh, he'll put it together. I do have it right now. What you're watching, I did fast forward it. So it's three times speed. It's, um, this is, uh, it'll cut down to five minutes uh, while he's doing it. I'll just speak over. I'll do a voiceover, and I'll show you the, the part. So what he's looking at right now is the uh, he's putting the acrylic base together. There are little stands, as you can see, that, um, <coughs> that elevates the motherboard. So this is a acrylic, um, what is this called, acrylic? Uh, motherboard mount I did not have this in the link so I just search it up this was the one we bought $21 so in the at the beginning we said it was uh, I said it was $40 it isn't it's uh, $21 as you can see it tells you what motherboard is compatible with ATX uh, the link that I have is this motherboard right here this mobile uh, and as you can see on here, micro ATX. So these two are compatible. So what he's installing right now are the little pins. As you can see, these pin, these pins right here to help. <coughs> excuse me, these pins right here to help elevate. Uh, and then he has the motherboard sitting on top right now. As you can see, it's this motherboard. And when you look at the motherboard, as I mentioned earlier, it will tell you what generation it should uh, be compatible with. This is a AMD 3rd uh, Gen Ryzen. Uh, on the link, I also have the product right here. Uh, it looks like it's no longer available. You might have to go through a different vendor. Uh, but this is uh, a Ryzen, the Ryzen 9, and then this is the generation uh, 3900. And you can tell that it's compatible here. All right, so he's screwing the top down to hold it down. When I overlap the two videos, it may be like a second or two off. So, you know, if, if the two videos, if the um, narration doesn't align perfectly, it's just because when I put it together, I didn't lay it on top correctly. All right, so what is he doing now? Oh, he asked me for thermal paste. I remember I was watching football, and he said, can you get me thermal paste? So I brought thermal paste over for him. <laughs> I'm trying to get a light too to shine and to get like better lighting for you guys so you can see it better but I think I made it worse. So he's installing the GPU first. On the right hand side you see a little metal stick that is a bracket that will hold this GPU down. Uh, this is a GeForce 210. It's just a small GPU to help them make the computer run um, 
it doesn't need uh, risers. It doesn't need, uh, sorry, it doesn't, it's not getting, um, I'm not using risers. We're not attaching pins to it. It doesn't need to be powered. Uh, just the plug-in is enough to power it. And then right there's the RAM stick uh, I showed you earlier. And then now he's going to do the CPU. So he's taking apart the Ryzen 9 3900X right now. Uh, this one over here. This Ryzen. So he's taking it apart. That is the cooler for the for the Ryzen, as you can see. On the cooler, the uh, on top of the copper, you see that little square, like gray area. That's actually thermal paste that they've thinly applied on there. We do want to apply more on. When you look at the um, you at your GP, CPU, make sure that there's an arrow on the CPU and there's an arrow on the motherboard. Align the arrow. Okay, the arrow needs to be pointed at the same direction. Uh, when you apply paste to the CPU, you can do like a P size right in the middle. You can do like the four corners, one dot in the middle as well. My cousin just chose to do like a line and then he's going to spread it out with um, a little, uh, I don't even know what that's called, a baby spatula. <laughs> so he's spreading it out. Looks like he's very diligent. Um, hopefully he is. All right, he's going to attach the CPU. This one has two little hooks. So he's going to try to hook one on on one side. So that is the bracket that holds the CPU down. Now there's a hook. He's trying to get the hook on. It's a metal hook. He got one on. He's going to, nope, not yet, not yet. Come on. There you go. He got one. He's trying to put the other one in. And then there's a, there's a little, uh, that thing. It locks it in. It holds it tight. What he's holding right now in his hand uh, should be the CPU fan. Now there's no CPU pump because this isn't a water-cooled CPU. It's just a fan. Uh, the copper sits on top of the CPU, and then there are, I believe, aluminum blades to help cool it faster. All right, guys, so we're uh, done. My cousin is done putting it together. I'm going to turn the light off, and he's going to uh, hot wire it. Here we go. Yep, there we go. Looks like it works. Yeah, if you have any questions, let us know. Um, like I said, this was a... $730 before tax bill. And you can buy everything on Amazon. We'll drop the link down below. Um, that's it, guys. That's a Ryzen R9 3900. Uh, it hashes at about 3,500. We haven't fully tuned it, but 3,500 hashes. Uh, and it generates about $2.50, almost $3 right now because Raptorium just jumped 20% today. Hope you guys enjoy the video.